Let's take a look at this example. We're supposed to start solving this problem from looking at the denominator. Again, if x is going to approach 0, my denominator is going to approach 0. Why? Because sine of 0 is equal to 0. 0 times 3 gives me 0. If x approach 0, my numerator is going to also be equal to 0, because 4 times 0 is equal to 0. So what we're supposed to do? Again, we're going to use this fundamental theorem. Now, in order to use this, this theorem, we're supposed to organize our problem a little bit. I have 2x. Okay, my, my angle is 2x. That's why I have limit x is approaching 0. And I'm going to rewrite 4x as a 2 times 2x over 3 sine 2x. And I can rewrite this as limit x approaching to 0 and I have 2 third times limit x is approaching 0 and I have 2x over sine 2x. I use the theorem for the limit of product. Limit of product can be rewrite as the product of limits. Limit of constant is equal constant. That's why this is equal to two third times. I can rewrite this as limit x approaching zero. And I have to find the reciprocal of it. And I have sine two x over 2x to power negative 1. Next, I'm supposed to, again, copy down everything, whatever I didn't use. I have 2 third times rewrite this expression and simply write this as limit x is approaching 0 and I have sine 2x over 2x to power negative 1. Remember, for limits we can hide the limit inside of the parentheses, like I did on the board. Next, I have 2 third times. My content of parentheses, according to this fundamental theorem, is going to approach 1. That's why I'm going to write simply 1 inside of the parentheses to power negative 1. 2 third times 1 to power negative 1, which is equal 1, is equal to 2 third. And this is the solution to my problem. Let's take a look at this example. Again, we're supposed to look at the denominator and at the numerator. If x is going to approach pi over 2, my denominator is going to approach 0. If in the numerator my x is going to approach pi over 2, my numerator is going to approach 0 because cosine of pi over 2 is equal 0. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the properties of the trigonometric functions and simply rewrite my the numerator as a limit pi over 2 and this is going to look like this sine pi over 2 minus x and because I have pi over 2 minus x I want to also have the same form in the denominator that's why I'm going to factorize negative sign and in the parenthesis I'm going to have pi over 2 minus x. Take a look what I have got. I have limit x is approaching pi over 2 positive divided by negative gives me negative sine pi over 2 minus x over pi over 2 minus x. 
Next, I'm supposed to just apply this fundamental theorem for limits. This is going to be nothing else, just 1, because this expression approaches 1. So now I simply write negative, open parenthesis, 1. Negative times positive gives me negative, answer is negative 1. This is the solution to my problem.